Without a doubt, one of my favorite things about sports and football in general is just when somebody kind of comes out of nowhere to have a huge game and a big game. And that's exactly what happened with Raheem Mostert. I mean, he completely went off and up to this point, the biggest game of the 49ers season. Obviously, that'll change coming two weeks from now. But, you know, two in an NFC championship game, do what he did. It's just one of those cool, fun stories. He ended up with 220 rushing yards and four touchdowns, meaning that he had 7.6 yards per carry and obviously the four touchdowns just a fantastic performance and admittedly it wasn't all him the blocking did a great job but let's just get into the entire running game not just him but how everything was able to work out so well kyle shanahan is probably one of the most creative play callers in the league especially when it comes to the blocking game the way that he has his guys just, they block so differently every play which is why even though you know a run is coming it's so difficult to stop and this play is a good example of that what they're going to do is they're going to have Kyle Yushek run over and block the edge rusher. And he's going to try to block the edge rusher towards the middle of the field. And then what they're going to do is they're going to have Kittle run up and block the linebacker. Oftentimes you would do this the other way around. But you know, San Francisco, they like to mix things up. They don't let you exactly know who's going to be blocking you and where they're coming from. Which is what makes them so difficult to stop. And while there is another Green Bay player in the area. So you might be wondering who's going to block him. It's going to be actually a receiver who is off screen to the right. But because they're having a receiver run over and block him, this obviously means that the defensive back who's in charge of covering the receiver is also going to run over and then he'll be in a position where he could potentially make a tackle. So that's what's going to happen right when the ball is snapped. As you see, Mostert is over to the right side of the screen. He's trying to get over and there is a defensive back in the area. And so what is Shanahan's creative play call to get Mostert around the defensive back and try to gain some you know, more yards, try to get a touchdown? Well, he doesn't have one. Mostert runs forward. Another Green Bay player is able to get off his block, and Mostert goes down, but he gains five yards. And that's what you're trying to do here is gain positive yards and also not allow Green Bay to get comfortable, not allow Green Bay to know where the rush is coming from. A lot of these guys will just have, you know, four or five standard runs that they like to do, and then they might mix things up to some degree. But for the most part, it's a lot of similar things that you're seeing. But for San Francisco, it honestly feels like if you break down every single rush, they're all different. You know, every play is different. You never know who's going to block you and from which angle, which is, it's probably very confusing to be an offensive lineman in the system, but it's very successful as well. This next play might be my favorite play from that game. What's going to happen is that it's going to be, so first things first, the left guard is going to block that Green Bay player right there, and so just thinking about it logically, you'd probably expect that the left tackle would then block the player who's in front of him. That's just what would make sense, because otherwise, who else would block him? But that's not what's going to happen. Watch how Joe Staley there is just going to get around him, and now you might be a little bit confused. Like, I mean, the Packer did kind of fall down a little bit because he was expecting to hit somebody and then didn't, so he fell over. So you might be wondering, okay, was that the idea? No, it wasn't. The San Francisco 49ers do have a plan for him as well. While Staley is going to move up to block a, a Packer who's at the second level, now they're going to pull their right guard over, and he'll be the one who's finishing off that initial block. And for the other Green Bay player in the area, they're just trusting that Mostert will be able to run by him, and that's exactly what he's able to do. Gets through that hole that was opened up from the creative play call, and then runs by the defensive backs and gets all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. And just to be clear, while I do love these creative blocking concepts that uh, Kyle Shanahan will come up with, uh, it has to be mentioned that without a doubt, it is not just because of that that Mostert had a great game. He has some tremendous plays. One play I really liked was, was this play, where what's going to happen is that, first things first, they're going to have George Kittle run out to block a linebacker, and then they're going to actually double-team an interior lineman, but then... The right tackle will also move out to block a linebacker. And then they'll just have Yushek and Debo Samuel block the other two Green Bay players in the area. And so, in theory, everyone is accounted for here. And this could result for a huge gain. You know, the next closest unblocked man is going to be the free safety who's 20 yards deep. So, this can absolutely go for a good run if everybody can do their part. And so, after the ball is snapped, the one thing you'll notice is that a Green Bay defensive back is doing a pretty good job of trying to get into this play. He's trying to see if he can make a play on this one. So Mostert is going to have to very first just run past him. He's going to have to have the acceleration to get by him, which he does, you know, runs by him. Good play there, gets over there, is in a good position right now. But the problem, of course, is that if you look, there are two Green Bay Packers who are both closer to the sideline than the guy who's blocking them. So for Mostert, he probably wants to get closer to the middle of the field. But that's difficult to do because he's at a full speed right now trying to get, you know, he's already running towards the sideline. So now he's going to have to cut back to the middle of the field 
while keeping a top speed because if he slows down that could give Green Bay players time to get over and then try to make a play so this is definitely not going to be an easy play for Moster but he is able to cut back while at the top speed slows down a little bit but not too much is able to keep the top speed and get over get inside the 25 yard line and that's just a good play I mean it really is you know it's it's kind of crazy that this guy has been sort of bouncing around in the league for so long and finally was able to break out on the biggest of stages outside of the Super Bowl. So definitely pretty cool. That's a tremendous play. It really is. That's just good halfback play. It's good blocking too, of course, but you know, that goes without saying. It's it's San Francisco. They run block well. We all know this, but it's also just good good halfback play by Mostert. And there was other examples where, you know, it wasn't necessarily just the, the offensive line blocking for him and him sort of just being able to do what he can do, do his part. He absolutely made some plays on his own. Like on this one, it's going to be a rush to the right side of the screen. And for San Francisco, they actually, what they're going to do is they're going to pull their, their right guard over to the right side of the screen. He'll be blocking the player on the edge right there. They also have a receiver in a jet sweep motion. So he can also block somebody in the on the right side of the screen. So they have blocks over there. But the key thing that's going to happen right now is that that Green Bay player, number 50, is going to do a very good job of rushing over and getting into this play. Like, watch. Watch how he runs over, and he has a chance to make this play. That's Blake Martinez, and all he has to do at this point is make a tackle. It could go for basically no gain. However, if Mostert can get around him, this could go for six. And that's exactly what's going to happen. He's just able to run around him. He has that, that sort of deceptive speed where you think you can catch up with him, but then you can't. He can kind of turn on the Jets and just get a little bit faster than you. You know, he forces you into bad angles and is able to take the outside and get into the end zone that way. So again, just another good run. That one wasn't necessarily poorly blocked, but a Green Bay player made a really good read and was able to make it to play, but he wasn't able to finish because Monster was able to finish. Oftentimes in football, that's all it comes down to. That's the difference in a good play or, you know, a loss of yards is, is just making one guy miss. That was a touchdown. It easily could have gone for no gain or a loss of one. So while the offensive line does deserve a lot of credit, he does too. You know, the, this, the entire unit played really well. I mean, I even thought Jimmy Garoppolo played well. It was one of the best six completion performances you will ever see because he only had to throw the ball eight times. But I thought he looked good in those, those eight snaps. And obviously the running game was just so effective. Why not just keep running it? One last play I liked. Again, this isn't anything like too, too fancy, but it's something they do so frequently and something that they can... It's like they have different guys blocking so typically. It's just it's so interesting, I think, where they're going to have a right tackle block an interior lineman. And then what they're going to do is they're going to have a tight end who's on the left side of the screen. He'll run over and block a linebacker. And then they're going to pull their left guard over to block that edge rusher right over there. It's basically kind of like just getting guys to have better angles to make these blocks and watch how well it works out. There's just a wide open hole. This is just too easy to just gain some yards, get to the second level. Not every run has to go for 40 yards, although obviously San Francisco can break out those big runs. Sometimes just, you know, have blocks like that where you're going to gain five to seven yards every play. And that's all you really need sometimes. That's a huge way Mostert was able to have such a such a great game. I mean, another thing is he just he played really well. But, but that's a huge way basically the entire San Francisco 49ers offense has been able to have so much success this season. It, it, they just run the ball so well, and obviously Garoppolo can make throws down the field. Uh, and then, of course, their defense is one of the best defenses in the league. That's why they're in the Super Bowl right now. They can do it all, but not only do they do it all, but they do it in a very fun way. They get very creative, which makes breakdowns a lot more fun than just trying to break down sort of boring blocking concepts. Breaking down exciting concepts is obviously a lot more fun. But yeah, that's my thought of his performance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and of course, as always, Thanks for watching. And also, if you enjoy this video and enjoy seeing breakdowns, I actually broke down a play from Kyle Yushak, and I put that on my Twitter and Instagram. I'm posting a play every day on my Twitter and Instagram. The links for both of those are in the description below, so feel free to click on those. See my clip of talking about Kyle Yushak. He made a really good block, so I talked about that one. So feel free to check those out. And again, thanks for watching.